Oh, why do I do that all the time? Sorry. Is that right? Hello, hello, Wendy. <laughs> I just sent you your challenge today. So sorry it's late. <laughs> and I don't know if you'll like this month's Wendy. <laughs> Can you see okay? It always looks blurry on my camera. I did say today that I was going to make some um, collage cards or journal tags, journal cards or tags, because a few people had asked, but um, yeah, <laughs> I'm out of glue stick, like, duh. and then I went down the post office and I thought I'll buy one while I'm down there, and then I forgot. So I thought... I started making some little flowers because I've run out and um, I thought I'll just turn the camera on then since I said I was going live anyway. What are you working on now, Wendy? Are you still in oriental journal mode? I'm just picking some bits of fabric to use. <laughs> yes, have a rest, okay, because tomorrow you should get some, um, well, hopefully tomorrow, you get your challenge. And I think you'll need to have had a rest before you open that. <laughs> hello, hello, who else is here? Is it Locus? Let me see. Come in and say hello. Look, I still don't know how to use this. Let's see. No, I can't tell. <laughs> you know I wouldn't do that to you, Wendy. Others might, but not me. Oh man, this wedding dress material, I can never cut it. And it's our last month, Wendy. I'm so sad. Okay, what else do I need? Hi, Robin. You're up late or up early? I'm just pulling out bits to make flowers. I said I was going to do collage tags, but um, I ran out of glue stick. Who runs out of glue stick? Is that all I need? Ooh, maybe I'll put some lace in. Maybe not. Okay, that should be enough. Oh gosh, wouldn't I just tip the whole box out, hey? Okay. Hey Wendy, have you ever done a live? Oh, hello, hello, Rayleigh. Oh, Robin, with your damn dogs, is that, do you mean like dogs are up barking or something? 
keeping you up. Okay, I think I'm right. Oh, goodness. Oh, they had to go out. <laughs> okay, guys. Sorry, I'm, I'm probably going to bore you. I was just making little um, scraps, scrappy fabric flowers. And so I thought I'll just turn the camera on and say hello to everyone. Why were you down in your dungeon, Rayleigh? What were you making? These are all just scraps of like coffee dyed wedding dress material, undyed wedding dress material. This was coffee dyed, I don't remember, I think it's a curtain or something. Some doily coffee dyed um, tulle, little appliques that were damaged um, husband's drop cloth <laughs> from when he painted that was painting the house and it was on the clothesline and I chopped it up this was some um, I think it looks like petticoat lace or something it was out of this random lace bag that I bought ages ago and I rediscovered it as I was cleaning out my craft room the past few weeks Okay, good night, Wendy. Yes, get some rest so that when you open your package tomorrow, <laughs> you're ready for it. Good night. Oh, you're going to reverse garbage, Rayleigh. Let me scroll up. I feel like I've missed something from someone. Oh, Robin, did you have a bad week? Watching me may make your week even worse. <laughs> okay, stop chopping and get moving. This is why I don't get anything done. I'm so slow. I just stuff around all the time. I move stuff from one place to another. Hi, Pam. Now I kind of want to call you Pamela, just because um, no one else does. Oh, I forgot. Where, where are you, Pam? When you say down here? I'm not in my flower making mojo. I haven't made them in ages now. And when I make them often... Um, I get into this routine and I pick up the right pieces. That's a bit scrappy. But now I'm out of my, my flower making routine. Like I can't find the juicy bits that I want. Okay, let's go. <laughs> you want a wrench, Rayleigh? I don't know how to even give you a wrench. Hi, Pinky. I'm supposed to be making flowers, but I'm just like shuffling stuff around because my box doesn't fit on my table and I feel like I don't have all my 
I do see little pieces here. I want some of these. Robin, um, did I know you had a channel? I don't know. Am I a subby of yours, Robin? I don't know. I'll have to check after the, um, after I finish boring you all. <laughs> I don't think I remember seeing one of your videos, do I? How did you how did you lose everything like at the end of it once you finished? I don't know what I want. What do I want? This is gonna take me ten hours to make one flower. Right, you can make another one. Yeah, I'll have to check your channel um when I get off. I don't don't know if I'm a subby actually. I feel like I need to work out of my little box. This is what I want. I want some of that and some of those. Okay, let me get started. <laughs> Pam. Rayleigh Pam gave you um, a whole toolbox there. Yeah, I think at the end of my one, all I see is a little cross. And then I can't remember what it says after that. Please tell me why I won't just rip a whole bunch up in advance. No, I don't want him. What do I want? I want this guy. What's everyone um what's everyone doing? Are you all just getting ready for bed or something? Well, the obvious. What's the time? Quarter to nine, actually. No, it's not bedtime. Yeah, I I don't feel I'm in uh flower making mojo. Oh, look what I um, look what I found at Reverse Garbage the other day. A whole bag of these um, buttony type things. <laughs> Can someone tell me why I needed like this humongous bag of these? And actually, there's some um, I was thinking of flower centers like shabby flowers, but um, I need to pull out some more lacy, frilly stuff. And there's actually a whole bunch of metal buttons in here, which is pretty cool. Anyway, she had they had $5 on the bag. I don't know how many is in there, but gee, there's a whole bunch. Looks like to some old 
metal buttons down the bottom as well, the ones with the anchors. <laughs> Rayleigh, you're sitting in the dark watching. <laughs> That's okay. I don't. I don't mind lurkers. Oh, I just knocked my whole box of fabric over. Okay, let me get moving. I'm dawdling. The problem I have, I feel like most of my buttons now um, are too big for my needle. I mean, too small for my needle. Duh. Rayleigh, as long as you're not doing something like rubbing um, <laughs> peanut butter on yourself or something. Now I also, um, I, you know, last week I did a video on the hardcover vintage book. And I said I'd upload them that day. You know, I still haven't uploaded them all to Etsy. I'm so slow at uploading stuff. Look, isn't he cute? Yay, I finally made one. I like them really, really fluffy. Honeybee, you're um, often up late, aren't you? Because I, I always see you online late. Are you a bit of a night owl? So am I. I go to bed so late and then I get up so early. Half, half price sale. Did you find anything good? I actually just realised I can't work and talk at the same time, can I? <laughs> I really can't. Oh, good, Robin. That's what I do as well. I, um, a lot of my fabric comes from, like, used clothing. Because I think it's so much nicer than new fabric. It's really, you find so many random patterns and, um, think it's so much nicer i really like the old granny um, <laughs> you know the old granny style clothes they they've got those ugly patterns and um ugly patterns and really bright weird colors and and that sort of stuff he needs something doesn't he this little guy no no, he does not. Well, look, I've got a lot of metal um, buttons I want to get rid of, actually. What about this guy? He looks all right. Oh, really, Robin? <laughs> I've always used, um, like, second-hand clothes. Uh, just because one of the op shops near me, it has... Oh, goodness, I'm all thumbs. Um, one of the op shops near me has this rack that they put all the ugly clothes on <laughs> that no one wants. And they put 10 for $10. So you get, like, get a piece for a dollar. And um, it's got all that really ugly stuff that I like. <laughs> so <laughs> it's, like, bonus. So I can get 10 pieces for $10. Oh, hello, Krista. Oh my gosh, I feel honoured. Krista has entered the room. Krista, Krista. 
How are you? I've missed you. Have you been holidaying again? You're always holidaying. I, am I off the camera? Sorry, I'm such a dumb dumb. Just tell me when I'm off camera. <laughs> Wait, what do you mean you're watching up in the treehouse, Pinky? Oh, 50 cents each. Bargain. And you know what I like as well? You don't just get the fabric from the clothes. You get all the buttons as well. Hi, Faye. Faye Cook. Hello, hello, Faye. Sorry, I'm not doing anything terribly exciting. I said on... um my video today that I was going to do some collage cards and tags because quite a few people had, are, had asked but then I realized I don't even have a glue stick so I thought I would buy one while I was down at the post office and then I forgot so yeah I needed to make some more little fabric flowers and I made a start and so I thought I'll just turn the camera on and see who's up and say hello but of course I'm not prepared <laughs> Faye, I have seen your moments all the time seriously like now why didn't I sit and chop some fabric up before I put the camera on I don't know making curtains Krista oh are you in your new craft room when are you going to show us your um what was it the shelves or whatever you were decoupaging I don't know what I'm doing Sorry, I keep stopping to read your little comments. It's like I feel like I need to be in in there in the action. No, don't want it. Don't want it. I feel like I don't have enough fluffy material in here. No, I want them a bit fluffy like this guy. See the fluffy raw edges and stuff or this guy he's a bit fat oh hey are, are you talking about the problems with the post office well you know what happened to me one um one month i sent wendy um a parcel i put like a random one dollar wedding dress um in my etsy shop and i put a note on facebook um <laughs> one dollar wedding dress pack whoever wants it first in first serve and um wendy grabbed it and anyway that month i sent her wedding pack with her next month's upcycle challenge and then like two weeks later it still wasn't there and it was in an express post envelope and so the post office, you know, when you ring that post office 13 number, they were apparently tracking it. And then, oh, we'll get back to it within 48 hours. And then it's like, yeah, 10 years later, still no phone call. And then I went down to Mount Anna to chase them up again. That's where I live, down the post office and they found it it turned well half an hour later they called me to come back so i went to the shops and they said come back we found it and someone had actually put it on the shelf to be collected at my mountain and like that's where i took it in i was so annoyed so it had sat there for two weeks and it was an express post bag and they wouldn't refund it either they said um they can't guarantee delivery within 24 hours. I'm like, 
Yeah, but it's two weeks and it's still sitting in the post office that I dropped it off with to begin begin with. Nick! <laughs> Hello, Nick! What are you doing here with all the, um, all the old ladies? Well, we're all 35. When I say old, we're 35. I've been 35 for a long time, though. Nick, if, if anyone doesn't know, Nick is Rayleigh's hubby. Are you supposed to be at work at night? <laughs> Faye. <laughs> okay, the old ladies except Faye. The reason I always say the old ladies is because my husband, he calls like this whole crafting community, he calls it a granny cult. He says we're in a granny cult because everyone kind of seems to know each other and uh, sends each other stuff back and forwards. And in with his hobby, he's like a um, Star Wars nerd and a history buff. And all the people that he chats to online and that, they don't send each other stuff like we do. So he really doesn't get it. So he always calls us the granny cult. And, um, yeah, that's why I always call us grannies. Even though I am a granny, I've got, I've got two grandkids. So, yeah, even, like, tonight when I said I'm just going upstairs to um, make some flowers, and um, he said, oh, are you talking to anyone <laughs> in your granny cult? Okay, let me check up. Oh, hello, hello. Who is this one? I can't say your name. How do you say it? Epinescence? I wish I could knit and crochet. Um, I only crochet um, plastic bags and um torn bed sheets i can't crochet proper yarn for some reason i don't know why and i don't even know how to crochet i just like make up my own crochet stitches like i don't even know if it's a real stitch i just joke it's the bonnie stitch because i don't even know if it's the right thing actually i'll show a few my crochet projects one day all of you real crochets were shaking your head. Like, what the hell is she doing? because you won't teach us how to crochet properly. I don't like this guy. What does he need? Oh, Jane. Hello, hello. How are you? I've missed you. Where have you been? I'm not doing anything terribly exciting. I was just making flowers and I thought I would pop the camera on and um, bore some of you. <laughs> no, Faye, I saw some of your crochet. It's really good. Those little, um, those little crochet button things that you sent me that time in a happy mail. Those are so cool. Look at this button. How cool is that? Honestly, it, it looks so like I almost want to eat it. It's like a, I don't know, it's so delicious looking. Look at this button. Is Rayleigh still here? Rayleigh, are you here? This button, look, 
I'm going to send you this for your mushroom journal. Don't you think it looks like a mushroom? Let me chuck that aside. I don't think I've got buttons left with big holes. That doesn't go, does it? No. Keep picking up this, but look how itty bitty the holes are. It won't even go. Button, button. Where's a good juicy one? Okay, this guy will do. I've got so many of this this colour button. Like squillion. Oh, I really want to learn how to crochet as well. Oh, Rayleigh, did you see your button, your mushroom button? It's so cute. Look how shiny it is. Oh, actually, speaking of mushrooms, look, here I go sidetracked again. Look what I found. Oh my gosh, I moved one thing in my room. Actually, let me finish this flower. I moved one thing in my room and like this whole stack of stuff just falls down. Oh, hello, hello. Now, Elegant Delight, you know, I was just on your channel this afternoon, but... I get your channel mixed up with someone else's. Now, I know one of you is Debbie and one is Grace. And I always get you two mixed up because there's another channel that has a similar name. So, which one are you? Grace, see, I, I knew you were one of them. <laughs> because one day... Um, I think it, her name's Debbie. She commented on a video of mine and I said, oh, thank you, Grace, la, la, la. And she said, okay, that's fine, but who's Grace? <laughs> I was like, oh, it's like, um, you know, Treasure Keeping. There's another channel, Treasure Keeping and another Treasure something. And I always get them mixed up. I know one's Natasha and isn't he cute? Okay, look at this mushroom book I found at the op shop a few weeks ago. It's so cool. I actually started a mushroom journal with a painted cover. Actually, the same time um, Rayleigh sent me her mushroom journal. There's a video on it. If you haven't seen her mushroom journal, when I finish this video, I'll put the link down below. You've got to have a look at it. It's so awesome. Anyway, I started a mushroom journal and then Rayleigh sent me a mushroom journal. And then hers was so awesome. I was like, eh, mine is so crap. And I stuck it on the reject shelf. Anyway, so I just sewed the cover and I repainted it. And where's that mushroom I painted? Oh, somewhere here. But look at this. Isn't it cool? Anyway, I used one of the mushrooms from this magazine as a reference. Oh, but then it was still crap. Now I need to gesso again. It's going to have like on the cover a one inch thick gesso layer. Oh, hello, Fiona. You made it. Hello, hello. Sorry, I know when you messaged I, about me going live, I was going to go live this afternoon to make some um, collage cards and then I realised my glue stick was empty, went to the post office and thought I'd buy one while I was down there, but then forgot. Look at this, so beautiful. And now I'm making flowers, but then I got sidetracked by a mushroom button, which then led me to a mushroom book. See, that's why I never get anything done. Oh, where's that mushroom I painted? I can't find it. But look, isn't it so cool? I love this. A 
didn't know if it was this guy. Anyway, it's so awesome. As soon as I saw it, I had to snatch it up. Like, look at this guy. But I kind of don't want to cut it up because it's so cool. Oh, this is the one. Oh, duh. I had a little flag in there. Yeah, this is the one I tried to paint. And, um, yeah, it looks like, I don't know, some sort of alien creature. Anyway, it's so cool. I love this book. Okay, now I'm getting sidetracked. Sorry, I'm just reading your comments. Yeah, Grace, I was saying before, I always get your channel mixed up because there's another elegant something that I'm subscribed to. It's taken you 10 years to make six flowers. I don't like that fuzzy bit. Oh, you're going to do a video of your craft room, Krista. Oh, I really want to see it. I just feel it's like going to be so awesome. It looks like you've got a lot of room in there. Um, I don't actually have a lot of room. My room is um, quite small. It's my daughter's old bedroom. Sorry, so you know when I'm by myself, I can like knock these little babies out so many at a time, like super fast. Like in um one night, one afternoon, I just made like a hundred flowers or something. There was this lady in the US when I first started making like similar sort of flowers for my Etsy shop. Um, this one lady in the US asked for a hundred flowers and I thought she was joking at first and she was like, no, she actually wants a hundred flowers. And then I sat there in front of the TV forever making these flowers and, um, yeah, in the end, I, I think I made about 10 packs for my Etsy and then I was so over making flowers and that's why I haven't had any in my Etsy for a while. I was so sick of it. And I was like, I wonder what she's doing with a hundred flowers. <laughs> Krista, I can't I can't rip when people are here. I have to like I feel like I always need to peek at the um chat. Let me get rid of this little guy as well. See, all these stupid little pieces I'll still put in a flower just to get rid of them somewhere, peeping out. Okay, oh no, I really need more buttons. Actually, no I don't, I've got jars of buttons, I just need to sort them. Because I've got, um, I've got, like, sorting issues. I need everything sorted. I can't have, like, a jar of buttons. They've got to be colour-coded. Ooh, look at that button. That's nice. I want to use him. Look at him. But not on this flower. Okay, let's go with this white guy. 
These are not the rusticy ones I usually make. I usually make them really, really rustic, grungy. I don't like when they've got that little um thing on the back. What's it called? Shank. Bye. Thank you for stopping in. <laughs> I missed, Grace, I missed what you said. I need to scroll up. Hold on. Oh my gosh, I can't sew and read at the same time. What have I done here? Okay, let's just save this baby. I've mucked up his little back. Let me just go through there. Wait, how did this end up on the back? Did I put that on? Let me get rid of this guy. I don't know what I did with this guy. Need to stick to teaching math. Okay. I don't remember if I put that on and just. Okay. Oh, so Rayleigh, sorry, is that? I didn't read the whole thing. Is that your first time you mean going to reverse garbage? I love that place. I'm seriously addicted. It's worse because my dad lives 15 minutes away from the Marrickville reverse garbage. And so every time I go see him, which is often, I always stop in there. Oh, can you film it? <laughs> Actually, my last um stop oh, at Reverse Garbage, I was going to film it, but like, I feel like, I don't know, I feel embarrassed or something. Like I'm so, I don't know, I feel like some weirdo filming. I don't know if, it, if you're even allowed to. You should have seen the day I was trying to, I don't know if you heard, but on a previous video, video I mentioned I filmed um, the big blue dumpster at, at a charity op shop near me because it's full of books every week. And um, I wanted to film it to complain and do something about it. And um, you should have seen me filming there. Every time I went to film, someone like walked past and then I'd be like trying to pretend I'm getting in my car or something, trying to look, you know, inconspicuous. And it took me, honestly, it took me like half an hour to do one stupid little 30 second video. These were some appliques off um, a wedding dress that were really a bit ugly. So I've just been using them in flowers. There's a piece I want, that one. No, I don't want that.
not very fluffy. Hey, was um was Chrissy Phillips here before? I forgot. Because I'm old. <laughs> I don't remember. Was Chrissy here? Chrissy's up to something. Does anyone know Chrissy Phillips? Um I'll put the link to her channel there later. She's she's in the junk journal down under group with us and um she's very naughty. Oh the reverse garbage near Oh Fiona, do you know what? You should just come with me one day when you're feeling well enough. It's um the Marrickful one is pretty big. Sorry, I got sidetracked. Um, yeah, Chrissy said she's sending me something, but she said don't film it, <laughs> so I feel like she's up to something. Something naughty, her and Geo. Probably sending me a cockroach. I don't know, I feel this guy's a bit rejected. He's a bit ugly, isn't he? Yeah, these aren't my normal rustic year flowers. This one is more that style. I feel like I need my box of scraps in front of me. Okay, let me do one of my regular guys. Where's that? This one. I know, I just keep shuffling through the same fabric, don't I? those thick pieces I like actually this guy I have some of him I can't get on my flower making mojo I don't know why I think I need a new thread Oh, Faye, you found the wedding dress at Reverse Garbage? Wait, is that $300? Did you? I'm a bit blind. I don't have my glasses. You found a wedding dress with nothing on it, but it was $300. Is that right? Coffee dyed lace. Oh, these? Yeah, the wedding dresses are a rip off. I was talking about that the other night on a video. I don't know which one now because now when I do lives, they all meld into one. Oh, yeah, the op shops. I don't know why they charge so much for wedding dresses. It really like. I must say it really pisses me off like they're so tatty and the sequins and everything is um they're so like yellowed and i just don't think a new a bride would want a secondhand dr dress that costs that much from an op shop that's damaged Is this the one you said you like the coffee dyed lace? Yeah, Grace, I don't know if you know, but um, last year <laughs> I bought about 40 wedding dresses in one hit. Oh, Faye, I'll um, send you a piece of this. I've got some some spare but let me just write it down because you know me with sending stuff I'm like I've got no memory this is my book of crap to do and nothing ever gets crossed off out of it um it's actually not lace it's it's cotton tablecloth oh not tablecloth it's 
it was a crocheted type tablecloth with doilies around it that I cut off and that's the joining piece. Okay, it's in the book. Just don't um, count the months. <laughs> I'm really slow sending stuff. I'm actually really good with my orders. I always send them same or next day. But um, sending happy mails and all that, I don't know, I take forever. And then sometimes people that I was sending a happy mail to but haven't sent it, it they then order something from my shop and I'm like, oh, crap, I was sending them something, wasn't I? And then I just send it all together. It's so bad. And then I feel guilty. This was a piece from that ugly um, boho envelope I made. The fabric was really beautiful, but like in a big sheet. But then once I use it, I don't like it. I don't know. I still want to stick something over top of him. Okay, let's lace this baby up. I was going to make one of my usual type, but I didn't. Okay, let me catch up. Yeah, Grace, 40, about 40. I don't know exactly how many. It came about because um, I just happened to be at the right place at the right time. I was at an op shop, one of the well-known ones that we have in Australia. And um, I was just browsing, I don't know, the button section or something. And then I hear the manager, who I kind of know by name because I'm all there all the time. He was talking to another... Um, to a volunteer or someone there and he he's kind of said yeah that whole uh, wall there and they've got this whole side of the shop that's just full of wedding dresses you know three or four rack fulls and um he said yeah those ones and then the guy says oh where do you want me to put them and he said oh scrap them and then i was like <gasps> scrap them and yeah, they were going to ditch about 40 wedding dresses. And um, sorry if you were in my live the other night, you already heard this story. But but um, I actually went and saw him after they finished talking and I made an offer for them. And at first he was refusing it and I had to argue with him for about half an hour he was saying, oh, I couldn't take that price for them. And I'm like, but you're going to throw them away. And um, I was thinking, man, if they if they throw them away, I'm going to climb my fat bum into that dumpster tonight and save them. But, um, yeah, he was arguing about the price, even though they were throwing them away. And I was saying, but you're a charity and you should take, you should not be knocking back money for charity. Anyway, so he did end up... Um, like giving me a, he, he gave me a few prices and I did argue him down a little bit because he was still wanting some ridiculous amount, even though they were throwing them out. And um, yeah, in the end, he finally agreed with the price I had, but it took about half an hour of arguing. So I did get them for a good price in the end. Um, not what I would have wanted to have paid for them, but, but at least I saved them from going in the dumpster. Sorry, I need to just put this closer because I'm blind. But can you believe, like, they would rather put stuff in the dumpster than sell it cheap? And that kind of, like, really pisses me off. Oops, sorry, I can't say that, can I? Oh, my gosh, I knew once the camera's on, I'll never be able to thread this.
Yeah, Faye, our, um, our op shop's done so much here as well. Like that op shop that um, dumps books every week. I actually, yeah, I took that video with the intention of doing something about it because it, it annoys me that people donate stuff in good faith thinking that they're making money for charity and then the charities throw them away. And that blue dumpster, um, no joke, it's full every time I go there. And what's worse, they won't let you take anything out of it. Even though it's really full, it's not like some oh &S issue, you know, you're going to hurt yourself. I'm not climbing into it. It's, it's full to the brim every time. And I even spoke to them, I contacted Reverse Garbage and I said, look, um, if an op shop has um, like huge amounts of books and that that they want to get rid of, will you send a truck out to pick it up? And they said yes. And I gave the op shop Reverse Garbage's number and the name of the person I spoke to. And, you know, they, they still don't ring them to pick it up. They still just dump it. so wrong so i mean now um when i have books that i want to donate i've been trying to put them in the street guard um street libraries you guys does anyone have one of those around them there's um a thing called street libraries and they're like these little houses that you can um take a book or put a book in there and it's just like a little community donation thing um they do have a website and I'll put the link down below after I post this video. Um, but it's actually a good way to swap books as well. So if you've got books that you've finished reading or or whatever, you can put, put them in there. And you can put magazines and stuff as well. And then you can just also take one as well. And it's it's just a whole little community run type thing. It's such a great idea. Yeah, I wanted to put one um, in my street, but we live in a little, um, a little cul-de-sac and there's not enough foot traffic going past. So I don't think anyone would really use it. It's only a couple of houses in our street. We've got like five houses. So... I don't think it would be used, but they're really good if you live somewhere where there's a bit of foot traffic, you know, people going past. But yeah, I'll put the link down below and yeah, check it out because I just think it's a great, great recycle initiative. Oh, your landlord won't let you? Why not? I hate how they all have... Oh, I just went the wrong way. Did I? No, I didn't. Dude, why did I pull that out? Ah. Yeah, I hate how they have all those rules when you rent. Great too. I had um, a whole stack of um, Star Trek books that I had rescued from um, that stupid dumpster. And I've been putting those in that street library every time I drive past it. <laughs> I keep filling the thing up. It's taken me forever to get rid of them, but um, I finally got rid of them, I think, one or two trips ago. But um, I have pulled out some really beautiful art magazines from there. From the National Art Gallery, some someone in the house is around there. Always puts the magazines in. I like this little guy.
I know. I don't. I don't know that I could sit there and read from a Kindle. I don't know. Maybe I'm too old fashioned. But especially when I was working full time, I um, I'd be on the computer all day and night because I'd take my computer home and I had a really busy job, and. I just didn't want to read on a computer. I, I just wanted a book that I could hold and turn the page and You know what? I really annoy myself how I shuffle through the same bits of fabric looking for that piece when I know exactly what's in here. So I usually have this really thick wedding dress material to put on the bottom, but I don't have any here. <laughs> That's why I keep shuffling. I don't know. Let me see if I've got a piece in the baggie here. In my box. I need some little base pieces. Maybe I've got none left. There's one piece. This is just my um, little piles of scraps that I make little flowers from. I'll say, I've got this here. Do you recognise this? That's one you sent in a happy mail. And um, I keep going to use it, but then I don't want to want to use it because it's so pretty I love this lace that you used on it it's so soft and I don't know it's just book pages I know it's so simple but I really love it I don't actually have an iPad <laughs> Fiona, that's okay. You can talk as much as you like. Oh, the lace was from a scarf. It's so nice and soft and fluffy. I really love it. Every time I pull that out to use, I'm like, oh use it and then I keep putting it back in oh my gosh if you want like um heaps of fabric for hardly any um cost get one of those drop cloths at Bunnings oh my gosh they are huge I've been using hubby's um for about two years now and I've still got heaps it's massive I, I usually watch all my YouTube on um, my mobile phone because the laptop is usually downstairs and my crafty room is upstairs so I usually just have my phone with me but um I think on my mobile phone I miss a lot of notifications because you know on your phone you can only have so many notifications pop up so half of them don't come through or I've subbed to too many channels and I'm not getting them I'm not sure which but on my phone I don't get all the notifications they are there on my laptop though when I log on it's not my mobile phone Oh, you're making the green teddy bear. You know, I did go through a teddy bear making stage, but little cloth ones. I just, um, 
through my own pattern and I was just making little um, cloth teddy bears. Oh, not, not teddy bears though, they were bunny rabbits. They weren't that great though because my little pattern was hand drawn. So it was a bit wonky, but they were quite cute. Yeah, this is probably more the little rustic ones, the style I usually make. I do like this little guy. He's a bit cute. Am I even on camera? Probably not. I don't like this guy. I might change his button out later. This was the button with the little shanky thing on the bottom. I feel it's too thick. It's not flat enough. I'll see, Faye, you seem like one of those all-round crafty people, like Wendy. That's why I love Wendy's, Wendy Mason's channel, because she's so, like, crafty. She was actually um, here for a minute earlier when I um, first logged on. And I told her, I sent her challenge off, her, off to her today. I'm a bit late. Should have been there, like, 1st of April, but um, I'm a bit late. Anyway, I sent it off today, and um, yeah, I don't think she'll like this month. <laughs> it's really funny. I can't stop, like, every time I think about it, I feel really bad and guilty for what I've sent. Oh, bye, Robin. Thank you so much for popping in. Yeah, I would love to see what you found at the thrift, thrift store, Robin. I have to check out your channel. I forgot what I was saying now. Oh, Wendy's challenge. It's so, like, it's so mean. Oh, there's one of those. I was looking for that. See, Faye, I wish, Faye, if you ever have a channel... Then you have to be the next, what will Wendy do? We have, what will Faye do? Because I feel like you're really, you're really creative all round. I need to find another victim to um continue the upcycle challenge. I was thinking of maybe asking Ginny. Um, you know Ginny from Brave Blue Raven Crafts? So I think she might have a lot on. See, I don't want it to be a stress for anyone. I don't like that little edge. <laughs> uh, I love sending stuff to Wendy. Honestly, like every month when I go rummaging, because I don't pick something out until... I'm ready to send it off and so <laughs> a day or two before I'm rummaging around my room looking for something um, to send Wendy and a lot of people actually message or email me with suggestions <laughs> but all of their suggestions are really mean stuff like <laughs> I can't and I'm like no I can't send that to Wendy that's too cruel like I always think to myself, if I can upcycle this, then I'm happy to send it. Um, if I don't think I could do it myself, then I don't want to send it. Actually, I was going to do the um, glass star one with her. You know those glass um, pebble things with her? Because I did find some more in my room. But then that's when my dad went into hospital and... Um, yeah, everything went out the window, so I didn't get anything done that month. Actually, I think I was off YouTube for um three weeks or something. I, I just didn't get a chance, but I've still got them, so I'm still going to do it. But 
I love how Wendy looks at something and she can straight away, um, she's got ideas running through her head straight away. I love that. But when I, I did actually start on the glass stars, but um, yeah, I took to them with a hammer. <laughs> so, yeah, my, um, my, thir my first thought was smash them up. So they went in a pillowcase and out the back on the concrete, um, they got smashed up with a hammer. Mr. Victor Crafter, hello, hello. Oh my gosh, I have been watching you for years. Um, I used to be a lurker. And um, I, I think I, I emailed you for your address once to get, um, to send you a happy mail. And then um, that email address I ended up closing down. And then I opened this new one for my channel. And then... Um, I never got to it and I saw you had a live today but when I clicked on it um it, the screen was just black and it was buffering so um I went back a couple of times to check but yeah I couldn't get on for some reason I love your channel Victor because you're like a true um a true junk journal person like your journals are real um junk journals which is what i like yeah jane i love i love wendy's little creations i love what she comes up with and it's always something unexpected Oh, Rayleigh, you're a Mr. Crafter channel follower as well. So am I. Because it's actually hard to um, find channels that are just recycle. Um, I know crafting mamas, they do a lot of recycling. But... Um, a lot of their videos are live and I never I can never seem to catch them on time because of the time difference. And then um yeah, there's no time to watch the replay because they're really, really, really long videos. But those ladies, they're really, really creative. I love their stuff. Oh, sorry, Faye, what did you agree on? I was talking about 100 things at once and now I forgot. <laughs> I like this little guy. He's cute. You think he's cute? This must have been from a petticoat or something. What do you think? Looks like it. Yeah, I got this big random bag of lace um, at an op shop one day. And it had pieces like this in it. Oh, Victor, I hope you didn't... Um spend all that time talking to yourself and then had to delete the video you know once i um early on actually it wasn't even that early on it was i had a channel for a couple of months at that stage i did a whole video oh uh, well it was only about 20 minutes or 25 minutes and i did a whole video and i was talking and i was like so proud of myself because i didn't say um um uh, every two seconds like i always do and then <laughs> I went to download it off my phone onto my laptop and I realised I had only taken a photo <laughs> and I was so pissed off. I was like, damn it. I took a photo instead of hitting record. I was so not happy, Jan. I 
Actually, I've done that a few times, I must say. Taking a photo instead of hitting record. It's like, duh. So, Victor, can I ask, um, where actually are you? Are you, um, you're Eastern European somewhere. So I, I never actually did catch where you are. Are you, are you from Russia or somewhere around there? I can't tell accents. I'm really, really bad with accents. I was watching a channel the other day and I said to her, it was a live stream, I said, oh, you're Aussie. And she said, no, I'm, I'm Pommy, but I live in New Zealand. And I'm like, oh, you sound Aussie. And she goes, that's the first time I've ever been told that. I can't remember what her name, what channel it was though. See, I couldn't even tell my own um, country's accent. Oh, hello, Sue. What are you up to tonight, Sue? I'm just making little scrappy flowers because I don't have a glue stick to make collage tags. That's a bit sad, hey? How can you run out of a glue stick? Is there a right side to these or not? No. I don't know. I can't tell. Actually, somebody asked me, oh, Ukraine. Oh, you live near Poland. Actually, I used to know a Polish guy that I used to do um, when I was young and fit i used to do judo and um my judo partner was he was from poland oh sue you're eating hot cross buns are they chocolate ones you're making me a bit jealous Ooh, that's a bit bit of a strange button Yeah, Victor, you'll have to send me your address because I never did get to send you a happy mail. Um, I got locked out of that email account for some reason. And I think I had asked you for your address a few times and then I was like, oh my gosh, I can't ask again. I'm so embarrassed. And then I think you um, took a break off YouTube. So you're going to have to send me your address again. My email's down in the um, comments box. Because I want to send you some Aussie stuff. I used to watch your channel, Victor, even before you started speaking English on your channel. That's how long ago. I think the first couple of channels I started watching on YouTube um, was Shannon Green. And actually, it was Shannon Green, I think. And the video was Cold Brew Coffee. And <laughs> I didn't get Shannon's sense of humor then. I didn't realize she was being funny. I thought she was just being like a bit dumb dumb. And, um, she pulled funny faces and and I was like, oh, this channel's a bit like, <laughs> can I say, like I was a bit, I don't know, I found it a bit annoying, but for some reason I couldn't stop watching her. And then after a few channel, after a few videos, I was like addicted and I just sat there all weekend watching Shannon Green videos and I just love her to death. But it's funny, because the, the first few videos, yeah, she kind of annoyed me. But um, I don't know why. I couldn't stop watching. And <laughs> because I loved her painty papers. I loved her doing painty papers. So I, I still kept watching. And then um, a couple of videos later, I just absolutely fell in love with her. And I've been watching her ever since. And I, she's one of the few people that I follow on Facebook. Um, 
because I love her funny little posts that she does every day. She always posts something funny. She made paper beads recently, and um, when I when I say she made paper beads, she made like a squeeing of them. Actually, she was the one that gave me a paper bead addiction years ago. Um, she had made paper beads, and then she got me into making them. And I had this really bad addiction where. I'm not kidding. I made like hundreds of those little buggers, like squeeans and squeeans of them. I was like a crazy lady. I couldn't stop. I could not stop making those damn paper beads. And um, yeah, it was it was about addiction actually. I ended up like my fingers. I had these hook hands, and so um, yeah, I finally kicked that habit. And then, what was my next habit? You yeah, see, I go through these phases of making certain things. My next habit, I think, was um, glass cutting. So I have a glass cutter and I would constantly <laughs> be collecting um, bottles, beer bottles off everyone and um, stuff like that. And I went through this whole glass cutting phase. And I finally kicked that, but um, it's up on my shelf, shelf again. And sometimes when I talk about something, it gets me into the, um, I don't know, I get, I start getting that addiction back again. What am I looking for? This? No, I don't know. I want that fluffy. Where did it go? There. Oh, you, you learn every language. I, I've never been able to learn another language. I've worked at um, a French defence company for years and I was surrounded by French people and um, they used to try and teach me. They were all French and Chinese and because um, I worked in accounting and they'd always try and teach me, both of them. And yeah, I'd... I'd learn a word and then honestly, two days later, I'd forget it. And at school, we had to learn French. And I used to just sit up the back um, doing maths and chemistry. I hated it. I just couldn't learn it. Was I your first Aussie channel, Faye? How did you find me? Because there were quite a few other Aussies. Oh, <laughs> Sue, was I your first as well? I, I apologise, you two. <laughs> I apologise for being your first. find me though because like when you start a YouTube channel it's so so hard to be found like even now if I search um Bonnie and Clyde Bonnie and Clyde comes up and it always says do you mean Bonnie and Clyde and I'm like yeah why do you do that Google that is what I searched why don't you just give me what I searched I don't like this piece there <laughs> actually Faye the worst thing is um, I used to actually tutor English maths, chemistry, physics to um, Vietnamese students at a TAFE and um, now like we all kind of laugh because <laughs> the minute the camera gets turned on I can't stop saying um and it's the one thing I used to really hate. I use, If my kids said, um, I'd say, don't say, um. And now, honestly, I, I kind of want to one day just count how many times I say, um, uh, on one of my videos. Actually, that could be one of my challenges. I'll do a giveaway. 
first one to, to tell me how many times I said um and er on this video. I'd be interested to know. Little. I need a big fat juicy button. Look at these buttons. Little um I don't know. These ones disturb me for some reason. I don't know if you can see. I'm not gonna go out of focus now. I don't know. For some <laughs> for some reason they remind me of a pimple. <laughs> like a really bad pussy pimple and I just can't use it I'm gonna have to like <laughs> I'm gonna have to put this into Rayleigh's next package <laughs> whenever I've got some <laughs> yes Sue White nipples <laughs> actually that's funny because we were just watching Seinfeld this afternoon and it was the one that Elaine um <laughs> sent out her Christmas card with her nipples showing but um yeah, Rayleigh, now I've got this thing when I, when I see, when I have something and I think, oh, I, I can't use that. I just think I'll, I'll send it to Rayleigh. <laughs> oh, you're in South Australia. I don't like this button. I can't find a button to go with this flower. I think I'm going to have to put something else on top. Most of my Australian Etsy orders are from Melbourne. And I'm like, where are all the New South Wales crafty people? Can I do a double layer lace? Or is that like denim on denim? Not allowed. Okay, that's a bit better. Yeah, look at this button. Oh, how do I turn it around? <laughs> I didn't know how to um turn it around, Rayleigh. There I am. My goodness. Do you know what happened? I, um, my battery went flat. <laughs> oh, far out. Dum dums. know how to get rid of that.